properly formatting your code is one of the best things you can do to ensure your code is easy to maintain, review, and share with others. Messy code might not seem like a big deal at first, but when you start working on larger projects or multiple projects, you'll come to appreciate proper code formatting. Tabs versus spaces has been an ongoing debate in the coding community for a very long time. In HBO's Silicon Valley, it even caused the end of a relationship between two coders. It's that serious. So in this video, I'll discuss the topic of tabs versus spaces and five things to consider when formatting your code. Here are the five things you should consider. Point number one, spaces are more consistent, maybe. It's argued that spaces provide more consistency in formatting code since it's literally just one space. Tabs are typically four spaces wide but can often be configured to your preferred length. Tabs can often appear differently in code editors like Atom, VS Code, Sublime Text, and others. Quick tip, take advantage of your code editor's settings to configure your tab width if you prefer tabs over spaces. Point number two, key press differences add up. It should be noted that spaces require more key presses to achieve the same level of indentation as one tab key press. Four spacebar presses versus one tab key press. In this scenario, tabs save you from overuse syndrome, tabs saves your keyboard's overall lifespan, tabs can save you time, and tabs save actual space. Point number three, disk space used. Basically, it's your file size. There's also a difference in disk space used between tabs and spaces. Tabs save space on disk over spaces. Why? Because a space character used four times is larger than a tab character used once. This might seem insignificant with small files, but for larger projects, it can add up. File size matters. So far, the score is tabs two versus spaces one. Point number four. Is there a money difference between space users versus tab users? Stack Overflow does yearly surveys of developers, which are great to read for insights into trends in the developer community. In an article written by data scientist David Robinson, it was noted that based on the results in one of Stack Overflow's previous surveys, people who use spaces earn more money than people who use tabs. The gist is that space users make almost 9% more money than tab users. That's a big difference in income. I don't know, maybe the difference can be attributed to the fact that space users have to press the space bar more times than tab users. The hours add up. Point number five, consistency, team preference, and project requirements. These are important to consider when coding. Being consistent is extremely important. It makes your projects easier to maintain. If your team uses tabs, then don't be that person who uses spaces and vice versa. Also, if your project calls for a specific way to format your code, then stick with that style of formatting. So do developers prefer spaces or tabs? What does the data tell us? In an effort to see what developers actually use, Felipe Hoffa from Google Cloud Platform analyzed the top 400,000 GitHub repositories, 14 programming language, over 1 billion files, which amounted to 14 terabytes of code to see which style developers preferred. The results? With the exception of C and Go, developers preferred spaces over tabs. All right, all that being said, what matters more to you? If money, other developers' preferences, and absolute consistent formatting of your code matters more, then stick to spaces. Now, if file size matters and the amount of time you spend pounding away at your keyboard matters, then stick to tabs. Okay, so what's your opinion on the topic of space versus tabs? Where do you stand on this issue? Share your thoughts down below. All right, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, share it with others, and I will see you in the next video. Happy coding.